Good morning, Leos. How are you doing? Um, <clears throat> so I, I started a video for you and then I was like, this ain't right. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta re like iterate this <laughs> because yeah, anyway, um, but I would like to start with like, uh, something that I was touching up on. Every time I go to do a Leo reading lately, like today, <laughs> mostly, um, my throat chakra starts feeling like it wants to close up and I'm like clearing my throat. I'm like, ah, <laughs> like, yeah. So I feel like, like already within like my little meditation here, it's kind of like, like you need to activate your throat chakra. And I feel like, you know, the work to do so, it's not easy, right? It's, it's a lot. <laughs> Um, singing helps, but honestly, just like, not holding shit back, you know, being able to like, speak your truth, like, if you're having like, a beef with like, a friend or a colleague or whatever is the case, like, and you're just kind of like going in like emotional spirals or mental spirals about it, like, honestly, the best thing to do is like, to release it, to say it, you know, and if you're in a position where you can't say it to anybody, say it out loud anyway, like, it will help clear that throat chakra, like, it'll help activate that shit. <clears throat> Alright, first card out, Ace of Pentacles, right, and Ace is the beginning of the journey, right, Pentacles is money, right now we're thinking about money growth, we're thinking hustling, I like that, that's really good energy to start out with. What are we hustling for? Hmm? What are we hustling for? What you gonna do? <laughs> I'm excited to know. Oh, dude, on top of my throat chakra, like, kind of being weird, my fucking plasma ball started going out. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> but, yeah, so you don't get to see my Nikola Tesla magic. But, um, oh well. <laughs> Next time, when I get new batteries. The only thing with this thing is that it shuts off so quickly. I'm like, I need a plasma ball that will stay on for, like, at least two hours, you know? Who knows how many readings I need to get through? <laughs> um, I know, typically you would think, like, a tarot reader would have a freaking crystal ball. Not me, I have a plasma ball. <laughs> but I, I've been considering, like, getting into crystal ball readings, actually. Um... But then you guys would have to see me face to face for a real, re a real reading. <laughs> well, I mean, these are real readings. But, you know, like, a person to person, like, I can see your fucking energy kind of reading. Right now, I'm just channeling shit. Um, I'm letting the spirit speak through me. I'm just a messenger, guys. Oh shit, the journey's popping out. So, okay, I see a couple of cards here that are like pulling me in. So let's talk about these first. Um, <clears throat> you're making a decision right now, right? Um, making your assessments, thinking about your paths, right? Um, and that's followed up by like this ego death, right? Um, oh man, this is like a whole ass picture. I have to like kind of, okay, hold up. I have to hold these and just kind of, psh. um, so it's like you've been having this feeling like of just bondage, like feeling trapped within yourself. Like you see her, she's not actually trapped, but like on the inside, she's like, fuck, I'm trapped as fuck. How do I get out? And how do you get out of yourself, right? Like, <laughs> you're trapped within yourself. Um, <clears throat> and then there's this devil energy, right? <laughs> and 
It's like a puppet master. This guy is like puppeting, puppeteering this other guy, right? And just making him feel like absolute shit. Well, he comes like with all his glittering hair and his little eyes and he's like, but I'm so hopeless. But I'm so hopeless. Let me drain the life force out of you, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, I feel like you feel like you're in bondage with this energy. Um, so you're going through an ego death. You're starting to make assessments about your situation, right? So we've got the angel and we've got the demon, right? Very opposite energies, mind you, but that's how we're, that's how we know we're talking about two different people. Um, it's like you want to get in touch with your inner child. Like, you want to have fun again. That's what I'm really seeing here, is you want to have fun. You want to play music and dance and just fucking vibe, right? That's, that's the life. That's what you want. But then this other energy is like, nah, I ain't about that. <laughs> I don't want to have fun. <laughs> You know, and I know it's two different energies because look at how opposite this is. That's two different motherfuckers. Uh, sorry, I'm not calling you a motherfucker. I just, motherfucker, you know? <laughs> uh, but like, uh, freaking, yeah, dude. So like, this other energy is just like, nah, I want to be miserable because I'm the devil. And I'm going to siphon the life force out of you because that's what vampires do, right? Ooh, Leo, what? Okay, Knight of Cups, somebody is feeling romantic, okay? I don't know if this is you, I don't know whose energy this is, but somebody is like, I want to, you know what though? Kind of comes back to this decision making, right? Like, it's kind of like, are we making a decision to like, to make an offer because it looks like here you're walking away from a cup that's on fire <laughs> it looks like you're like goodbye um wait this is in reverse so this is like you have not yet this is like two different energies um maybe this is the person not releasing not releasing because I feel like maybe that's what you have to make an assessment about the cup is on fire but do you walk away from it I see you um seven of pentacles you like want to grow your own life your own wealth your own abundance right you're really thinking about sprouting that journey I'm going to clarify this eight of cups though because I feel like in reverse it's kind of like opposite it's like you <clears throat> you want to come in with this offer you want to like have this ego death get in touch with your inner child have like these adventures and fun but there's something that you're struggling to walk away from and it's probably this devil energy right the angel of light <laughs> or the one who comes disguised as the angel of light um which i i feel you um Three of Pentacles in reverse, so, like, yeah, you thought, like, you would be creating life in a certain way with this person, um, or people, maybe it could have been somebody else from your past, and that did not work out, um, where you saw an entire life with somebody, it just did not happen as, as you wanted it to, right, but then, now, here's your energy. You're the hanged man in reverse, meaning that you stand on your own two feet now. Nobody's holding you down. You're not going to be puppet mastered or puppeteered something, words. <laughs> but you're not going to be controlled by this person for the rest of your life because you know, like, you don't want to live in bondage. You don't want to be on their fucking threads, you know, being held up. Um, literally, held up, blocked. <laughs> like, blessing blocked, you know? Because you want your abundance, right? And Nine of Cups is like the ending of an old cycle, right? To get to this new cycle of emotional abundance. And that's what I'm gathering here. Um, you're making decisions. So, I want to clarify this Eight of Cups in reverse. And then, I 
after that, I want to clarify this Knight of Cups. What is that about? Who dat? <coughs> <coughs> Okay, it's like you're having trouble seeing what's going on below the surface, right? Um, so, like, it's almost like, okay, so, I don't want to say this is your energy, but typically in a reading, um, upright means somebody is withholding a truth from you. Reverse means you are withholding a truth. Right? Like, you're kind of like, you're not letting something be seen or known. Um, and maybe that's why you're not walking away. Because it's like, like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> <clears throat> strength is why. Because you're, you're trying to find your strength. You're trying to get there. I understand. I understand. And you know what? That's why my throat chakra. <laughs> you are withholding something. Okay? <clears throat> and it's fucking with me because I'm channeling your energy. And it's like, uh, this is something that happens to tarot readers. Where we start, like, you channel an energy and then it's like, bam, it starts affecting you. Like, where they're at. Um, I hope you find your strength. I hope that... You're tired of feeling in bondage. Um, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. So let's see about this. Okay. <laughs> so this one just kind of flew out at me. <laughs> so we have the four pentacles in reverse. Um, like you're having... You're recklessly spending, right? <laughs> you're having trouble coming up with money. Or not really coming up with it, but holding on to it. That's, yeah, like, like, you have no trouble making money. You're a Leo. But, like, yeah, you're having trouble holding on to it. It's probably, like, retail therapy kind of shit. Um, and maybe that could be part of it, too. Like, you need strength and you need your resources. Um, and that's why you're in this growth mindset right now, right? Or, because that is kind of opposite, the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. Um, yeah, I would say this could be the devil you're hanging out with. It's like, oh my gosh, that's the cup on fire. You feel like financially like responsible for this situation, right? Oh, dude. You have the Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Seven, Seven, Seven. I hope if you're into numerology, that stands out for you. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, okay. So that's, I see. I see now. <laughs> you feel like you have, like, you have a responsibility to a situation. And maybe that's why you can't focus on your own this. <laughs> But you will. <clears throat> because, um, all things come to the light. Eventually. Um, let's clarify this Knight of Cups.
All right. Leo. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> so, um, here we are with that conflicting ass energy, right? And that's where you're in your life. I don't know. Yes. No. I don't know. Uh, so, okay. Um, you have the King of Wands in reverse. Um, the King of Wands is somebody who, like, goes for what they want. They have a lot of inner strength. They, like, I mean, look, he's got a fucking lion behind him. He's just like, I don't give a fuck. This thing can try to maul me, but I'm the fucking king of wands and I will kill this lion, you know, kind of energy. Like, he is standing in his, like, he, you never turn your back on your enemy, right? But this guy isn't turning his back on that lion, or is turning his back on that lion. Like, he's not afraid of it. That's not something he's worried about. He stands in his strength and his truth. Um, and wands is all about that. Like, it's all about manifesting based on your personal truth and stuff. Um, five of cups in reverse, it's like there was some wasted, wasted cups. You were filling cups that were just getting spilled out, right? Like somebody was just like, nah, nah, who cares, you know? And you were just like, bro, I filled that whole cup for you. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> so I, I feel you. Somebody wasted your emotions. Um... And so that made it hard for you, right? Um, you have this Queen of Swords. I don't know if the Queen of Swords is, is the energy you're coming towards or wanting to come towards or whatever. Um, or if this is you right now, right? The Queen of Swords is somebody who is like on high alert for like, I mean, it's very opposite of this King of Wands energy. So I'm assuming that this Queen of Swords is our clarifier. This is the energy that we are clarifying with the Knight of Cups. Whoever you want is a tough ass person, right? So, um, <clears throat> look at her. She's like looking to her horizons. She's got her sword in hand. She's like, I'm going on a fucking adventure. The sun is shining. I'm out to sea. Goodbye. <laughs> life is great um I don't know I love that energy look at her standing in her own confidence it's like she could live her own like whatever like people don't fuck with her she'll cut that shit off she'll cut it off she'll cut it off she'll cut it off you fuck with that energy go bye big katana you know <laughs> like she's she's in the energy of like nobody is fucking with her right She's, I feel like she's shutting down just like offer after offer after offer. And maybe that's why it's hard too for you to come in because you're like, Ugh, I don't want her to shut me down like that. Fuck. Because <clears throat> um, she is a very confident ass character. And I mean, this could be a guy too. Like I said, with tarot, there is no gender, just cards that I'm seeing. So like, take it as it resonates. We could be talking about a guy who is like, nah, goodbye. I ain't fucking with no bullshit, no hoes, you know, and so you like, you're like, but I'm not a hoe, I'm that knight in shining armor, I'm here with all the shit, um, <clears throat> the thing is, she's a queen, right, and you're a knight, so in order to even come in with any offers, um, to make any decisions like that, like you have to get into king mode you have to really tap into your strength and your character um and really be the best of what you are um because i mean it's not impossible it's just this is a queen you know and she's dope as fuck she's dope as fuck so just say um, uh, and she could also be, like, abrasive, right? So, that can be scary, too. Especially for somebody who's like, fuck, she gonna be abrasive with me like that? <laughs> like, fuck. Um, uh, I get you. Um, ten of swords in reverse. So, you're having trouble cutting cords. Uh, <clears throat> it's like, and since that was part of the clarifiers for this energy here, it's like you don't want, you don't want this connection severed 
That's really what I'm gathering. Because if this was upright, you'd be like, goodbye. But it's like, you don't want this connection severed. Um, despite the fact that you're dealing with this other energy over here, right? So we've got a third party situation. Leo, Leo, Leo. <laughs> You and your third party situations, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know how to help you. Um, it's like, <clears throat> I have all the faith in you though. I feel like you're gonna do what's right for you. And that's what ultimately matters. I understand you've got like this financial like responsibility over here. You've been like kind of in bondage over here. like. You know, but, and I just, whatever the case, whatever the situation, whatever you choose, um, try to make sure that you're living as your full self, like you're not putting on masks and you're just authentically you, you know, because when we start putting on masks, that's when we start dealing with these devils. You know, when we start covering up with that ego, then the king of ego shows up and is like, <laughs> let's fuck you up. <laughs> you know, let me just fuck you all the way up. <laughs> Any feeling you have, right? Um, so, try not to be in that ego. And hell, that could be the very energy that is keeping you in bondage. Now that I, like, look at this and I see it, it could be your own fucking ego over here, right? We know. We, as <laughs> thing is, we know <laughs> Leos have a hot head, okay? I love you guys. We know <laughs> that Leos have trouble seeing the difference between ego and strength sometimes, right? Um, we know that because you guys are Leos, you know, um, sometimes the strength of a lion is to be gentle with the lamb, right? Like in this strength of a lion is to be gentle with the lamb. Um, I say focus on your resources, focus on your fun. This energy is taking fun away from you, whatever this energy is. And oh, you know what? That's probably why you're going through ego death. <laughs> I forgot. Ego death. But if you're going through ego death, then this is definitely somebody else's ego. Okay. <laughs> and it's, I mean, we can't have the angel and the devil here and have it be the same guy. So... And I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'm trying to say to you having the ego death that, I mean, if you're the one in the devil energy, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so, though. From, like, the Leos that I've interacted with, I just don't feel like that would be you. I feel like you're this angel over here in the temperance, right? Trying to battle, trying to balance between the light and the dark, like. See? Balancing between that light and dark energy. I just want you to really look at the imagery of this. Like, like it's like you're caught in the middle between two energies, right? <clears throat> it feels like chaos, right? feels like, ah, like you're in the middle of a war, and that's probably due to your, like, ego death, right? Um, eternal flame in reverse. So, how I read this, because I, I do, like, a lot of, like, talks and stuff on, like, the twin flame journey, is eternal flame is that, <laughs> you know, the eternal flame is your, is your flame, and maybe you're neglecting it, like, and that's, this like knight of cups energy that you're like I want to but I have responsibilities over here <laughs> I can't but I would like to you know and I feel like oh, let's see oh my gosh okay 
Okay, so this deck is straight up screaming at you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what this is trying to say. So we have give and take in reverse. So somebody, there is an imbalance of give and take within your current relationship or situationship with this devil, right? Which we kind of already gathered. And that's probably why you've got the four of cups in reverse. You're having trouble holding on to money. Like you're feeling financial, financially responsible for this energy, right? Um, and it's holding you in bondage. Founding day. So this, I would, it's in reverse. Um, I would attribute this with the eternal flame also. Um, so you've got this. Oh, I'm going to have to do two parts. I'm sorry, my time's about up on this. So catch me in part two and I will delve deeper into that.